Calvin Castein, and we are back at the. I always get this place too many, too many words in the name of this place. We're in Champlain at UVM Health Network CVPH Diagnostic Center Champlain location. <laughs> at, at Hudson Headwaters Health Network. Correct. Champlain Family Health Center. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> With all that said, we are here talking with, this will be easier for you. Robin Brissett. <laughs> yeah, what's your... Manager function? of Outpatient Services. Okay, Outpatient Services. What's that mean? So basically, I oversee four locations, Champlain Valley Open MRI, Champlain Valley Valcor Im Imaging, CVPH Health Plaza, and then the Outpatient Services at the Diagnostic <laughs> Center in Champlain. <laughs> <laughs> Are they done adding locations for you, you poor, you poor woman? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you from originally? We want to know who we're talking to here. We, I'm originally from Morrisonville, New York. I, I've been to Morrisonville. Yeah. All right. Make sure you don't get anybody walking by here, Jude, unless it's a, they got a tag on, people with the, <laughs> Judy's on the camera. And uh, from, originally from Morrisonville. Correct. Okay. And your, your last name is Brissette. Yes. All right. I associate that name with the Alsable Valley area. My husband is from Keysville. All right. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as dumb as I look, am I? <laughs> no, right on. <laughs> and I don't admit that often. <laughs> okay, how long have you been with? Uh, Since uh, 2011. CVPH, UVM, 2011, yes. okay. And uh, so what is your function? What, what expertise did you have to have to have your job? You? So basically I oversaw as the director of um, Open MRI when we were independent in Consumer Square under Soteria Imaging, which was based out of Louisville, Kentucky. Uh -huh. And then in January of 2011, CVPH took ownership of that facility, and then I became um, a coordinator for Open MRI, then moved over to the plaza, and now I oversee the outpatient services. Okay. So we're here at the, what I'll call the Champlain Family Health Center, which, which but if you look at the sign driving by here, the Champlain Family Health Center is only this big, and the Hudson Headwaters Health Network sign is, is this big, and uh, so it's, it's, you know, it's a little tough. I, do you know what the phone number here is on in the phone book? Uh, like what it's under? I know what the number is. Two six nine one. But I mean, do you? It should be under Champlain Valley. Um, University of Health Network. <laughs> oh my but god! I, I just want people to be able to. To look up the phone number if they want to reach you here, but uh, you know, it used to be easy. The North Country Medical Center is what the number we'd look under. Then Hudson Headwaters took over, so I'm not sure. Diagnostic Center of Champlain. Yeah. So when you call the, when you call the, I'll call it the medical center here in Champlain, under the list of, of places you can talk to is the Diagnostic Center, and that's where we are. Absolutely. Or you can call our main line, and we can get you up here. Okay. So you have, you have a number too that, Absolutely. serves all four places. Yes. Okay, and what what's that number? Five six one two thousand. Okay, yeah, that sounds like the medical center. Yes, number. and okay. we can direct you. Okay, so that's to the, here if you can't find that that's number. That's the CVPH number. That okay, so that will lead you here too if you wanted to go here. So this is here in Champlain. Uh, I was told when I came here and got some blood work done a couple of weeks ago that uh, they were able to do this here before, but only for their own patients and it was limited as to what they can do. So now you've kind of expanded what's available here? So and yes, so with us going um, with the construction at CVPH Diagnostic Center in Plattsburgh, we have opened up from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Thursday. All right, let's go here. this way. Let's move this way because we got people walking behind us here that we don't want to. <laughs> there we go. And then 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Friday and 8 to 4 okay. on Saturdays. And That's here? Correct, that is here up in Champlain. Okay, so uh, if you're getting, if you come here for any procedure and you need to get certain, what things can you do here? You don't do MRIs? No, so we do blood work, which is walk-in, and okay. also x-rays, which is walk-in. We will be starting ultrasounds, which will be scheduled exams, but we are currently not doing those as of right now. Okay, so right now, just uh, just walk in. You haven't got a call ahead. Nope. Come just bring your order. Yeah. Yep. Bring come your order and come on in, and we'll get you taken care of. Okay. So, who can who can come here? Uh, obviously, patients here. But if somebody uh, is going to a doctor in Plattsburgh and they live here in Rouse's Point, 
need blood work done, why well, drive to Plattsburgh, right? Exactly. That, yep. Just right so here. just come right in. Just come right through the doors of Hudson Headwaters. Take a direct right. You'll see our door with our logo on it. Walk right in, and we'll take good care of you. Yeah, so you don't have to be a patient here at uh, family Health, Champlain Family Health Center to utilize this service. This Correct. is independent, uh, but it's you're kind of working together. You're, I guess we're calling it leasing the, this portion of the, uh, the, the building. So it's kind of a working hand in hand type of a deal. Yes. Yeah. So it works out for them. Uh, now, is it only people that would uh, be from Clinton County? Let's say there's a somebody from Alberg that uh, has a doctor's appointment in uh, Burlington and they need blood work done and they don't want to drive that far. Can they? No. Can anyone, any any patient that has a correct order from a physician's office is welcome to come through. So. You, forward that to and we will doctor. get yeah we will get the results and if they need the images we'll get those to the, your physician everything stored right on cvph's packs and in your medical record so, so it's, it's just a satellite from cvph or cvph plaza but it doesn't have to be part of the cvph uvm health network but we, it, the physician does not need the ordering physician does not need to be part of the uvm health network okay. correct so somebody who's from ticonderoga visiting their sister here and say i need blood work done Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll take good care of you. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, uh, when I came in here, it was kind of quiet. And uh, one of the things that the lady I talked to said was it's been kind of quiet. So that's one of the reasons why we're doing this. We want to let people know that this is available and, and get it right. busier up here. Perfect. All right. So how often are you up here? You just stop in once in a while since you've got four places to... Yeah. We tr I try to be up here once a week at least. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye on the place. So, is there someone normally that's uh, in charge here? Um, yeah, there's a core group of registrars that are usually here. They're all perfect and great employees, self sufficient. If they need anything, they can always reach out to any of the leadership members, wherever we may be, off on site or at the main campus. Um, and we usually get right back to them. Okay. So, I, and you, there are, like you said, people that are a core group up here that are here only. And when I came in to get my blood work, the uh, woman doing it, I don't know if she's a nurse or what her title would be, you know, what would she be? Phlebotomist. Phlebotomist, okay. Mm -hmm. The phlebotomist uh, said that uh, she was supposed to be working in, Pla in fact, she started her day in Plattsburgh because you start pretty early in Plattsburgh, right? Yes, we open up at 6 at the plaza. Yeah, so the uh, person who was supposed to be here wasn't able to come in, so... She, she came up. <laughs> and she's from this area, so <laughs> she See? went to Plattsburgh to come back and work here. <laughs> so uh, so we got that done. So it was, and it was very nice. So you walk in, and within minutes, you're, you're in, in and, and out. out. Yeah, and she was a very good picker. Good. Is that, is that what you call it? We, we have the best. Can, do you call them pickers, or what do you? <laughs> pickers, pokers. <laughs> <laughs> Hunting pecker. <laughs> What should we look at here while we're here, Robin? Well, we can go look at the lab area and also x-ray. All right, let's do Perfect. that. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, when you walk in from the main portion of the Champlain Family Health Center, as uh, Robin said, to your right as you walk in is the door. And when you walk in, here's what you'll find here. You'll find a receptionist, and uh, they'll take your paperwork and, and move you on to where you need to be. And as I said, when I was here a week or two ago, it was a matter of minutes before I was in and out. Okay, who have we got here, Robin? So this is Leah Russell. She's one of our lab assistants. And who's the patient here? <laughs> Nora Busky. All right, Nora, you volunteered to sit there. We're not going to actually draw blood from you here. But. Mm. So what happens in here? This is... Uh, what? This is our uh, one of our phlebotomy rooms where we do um, all of our blood drawing. We also do EKGs here. Um, yeah, that's pretty. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's it. No. Yeah. That is that? Okay. Uh, what's an EKG? An EKG is. Electrocardiogram. Yep. And what it's, does that do for you? It checks your heart um, rhythm. rhythm and it also checks your electrical current throughout your body. Usually, patients have it done before surgery. Okay. Um, people AC or DC? What, what's their current? AC or DC? What does that mean? I was like, mm. yeah. that's electrical current. She oh. said electrical. <laughs> yeah, there's no shocking or anything oh, like that involved. But okay. it just makes sure there's no blockage throughout the body. 
All right. If you plug into your wall, that's AC. And if you ah, start your okay. car, that's DC. Keep me something. Good to know, yeah. <laughs> right, Direct current or alternating current. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so they don't, they're not electricians. No, no, no. no. Okay. <laughs> I don't but, even electrocute myself that way. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's, I know you're, you're a good picker, are you? I believe I am, yes. Yes, I've gotten many you? compliments. Yes, fantastic. Do you practice yes. on each other picking? No. That's how we first start out when we get trained. We'd you pick train? on each other, yeah. Where do you train? Where do you go? Um, at the main hospital, we got our training. Okay. I've been drawing for six years now. Okay, what, what kind of a background do you need to become a phlebotomist? Um, now, so a lot of them start at, uh, they go to CV Tech or the um, nursing programs. Um, Does Clinton cover any of that? Or? Clinton, yeah. I'm going to say they can do LPN and they can also do the phlebotomy program through there, I believe. And then usually people have been starting as CAs in the hospital. That's how I started. I get all my hours through there. And then I came into the lab about five years ago, six years ago. I'm supposed to know what a CA is? It is a clinical assistant in the hospital who okay. takes care of all the patients, helps the nurses. Yep. Okay. So, um, but I know other ways... Um, CV Tech, you can get your certificate for phlebotomy off too. And then Clinton has an actual college course too. Okay. So you have to be good in chemistry to become a phle phlebotomist? Or? I don't think it hurts, it but hurt. yeah, it's not a necessity. <laughs> not yeah. Necessity. Okay. Good. So there's hope for me then. Yeah, I'm going to say <laughs> Nora started out as a um, blood donor. Yes. Yep. You started out as a blood donor? Yes. And then you became. A phlebotomist. No, I actually donated the first time as a phlebotomist for the donor program at CVPH. <laughs> okay, and the rest is history, right? The rest is history, right. many years later, <laughs> yes. All right, anything else that we should talk about here, Robin? I don't think so. I think that sums it right up. That sums it up. All right, thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Um, Okay, we've come in here and we found, is this a bedroom? Where are we? This is the um, diagnostic x-ray room at the CVPH Diagnostic Center in Champlain. All right, and who are you? I'm Jamie. I'm one of the x-ray techs that works up here. She doesn't want to give her last name, Dubay. So I just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the x-rays. Uh, you name it. I guess you've got a place to stand up and get x-rayed too, not, not yep. just laying down. We do chest x-rays. Mm -hmm. um, we can do pretty much anything up here um, to help accommodate the patients that live up here. I'm going to confess here on, on camera here. When I was about 18 months old, my mother went away to Raybrook for tuberculosis. So mm -hmm. we've always tested positive for TB. And when I was growing up, we had to go every year to get an x-ray. Yep. And they said, don't breathe. Well, then I said, how can they tell if I'm breathing? So being a kid, <laughs> I was probably 10 years old, I breathed. <laughs> and sure enough, we had to go back. My mother was not happy. <laughs> so do you tell people not to breathe when they're getting their x-ray taken? Yes, because it creates motion on the image. <laughs> so if you're going to get your x-ray taken, do not breathe. <laughs> Otherwise, your mother will be mad at you, right? Actually, things are much faster than they used to be, so we know no, I'm gonna hold without you having long. yep without having you even leave here, we can see whether we got a quality oh, okay. image or not. So you haven't got a. So we don't have to back. call anybody back. Oh, you, what do you use, Polaroid? <laughs> <laughs> using the Polaroid X-ray machines here. So, so you have the stand-up kind, and this here is is this. Uh, different why, why would somebody it, lay down instead of standing up uh, depending upon what exam you are having done we might have you lay down if we you know if we were doing a lower extremity x-ray or um, most of the time when we do belly films we lay patients down um, and depending upon patient condition whether they can tolerate standing we might have them sit or lay down on the table okay, okay. so and uh, the x-ray technician stays behind the wall over there right Yep, we technologists actually will um, will come out, we'll position you, and then we go back and we shoot our pictures. So this, you know, you've, is there a, is there a danger for your job because you're exposed to X-rays so much that um, you, I know you got to stand out there in protection. But with a lot of the regulations now, we wear dos um, measuring devices called dosimeters that allow us to know what we're getting for a lifetime radiation dose but most of the time we are protected behind our lead walls 
Um, and with the um, technology today, most of this is low dose radiation. You get more radiation by flying in an airplane or stepping outside in the sunlight than you do from a standard chest x-ray. Wow. Okay. It's very reassuring. It's a very controlled setting. <laughs> Okay, so you can do all kinds of x-rays here, and just as we mentioned with Robin before, you don't have to be a patient here at the Champlain Family Health Center of Hudson Headwaters Correct. Health Network. You can be... You can be a patient. Anywhere. If you live in Ross's Point and you, you know, um, have a doctor in Plattsburgh, you can still come here for your x-ray. Right. So you, and uh, uh, is x-ray still, this is still walk-in, right? You, this you, is a walk-in facility, so... You don't have to call ahead. No calling to schedule appointments, just come in as you need. All right, Robin gave us those hours, but give us, remember those hours? Um, X-rays here, 8 to 8, Monday, Wednesday, and... 8 to 8? 8. 12 hours? Yep, 8 to 8 on Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh -huh. Currently 8 to 4.30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and 8 to 4.30 on Saturday, or 8 to 4 on Saturdays, and 8 to 6 on Fridays. Okay, so if it's... Close to closing time, you might want to call ahead to make sure you got the right time in there. And that, yes. you know, <laughs> you know, show, thinking it's an eight o'clock night and it's a four o'clock night, you want to call ahead. Correct. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, anything else that we should know about that I should be smart enough to ask you about? No. Yes. Mm, no, I think we covered all the bases. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I will wrap up our look at the. Diagnostic Center is part of the UVM Health Network, Champlain Valley Physicians Hospital. And it's located here in Champlain at the Hudson Headwaters Champlain Family Health Center. And as we said, you can call. If you're not sure, just go online, look up Hudson Headwaters, and they'll give you the, the locations, and you can find Champlain. If you're looking just for the Diagnostic Center, uh, just call that 561-2000 number, uh, CVPH number, and they'll tell you, uh, they'll lead you to how you can get in touch here at the uh, at their diagnostic center walk-in. MRIs at this point in time are coming, so if you're watching this in the future, this is April 12th, 2018, but sometime in the not-too-distant future, we're hoping they'll be offering uh, MRIs here also. Oh, excuse me, not MRIs, I apologize. They're not going to be doing MRIs here. What they're going to be doing is going to be ultrasounds. So they'll be offering ultrasounds here. So uh, just keep that in mind. And sometime in the future, that should be available here. So things are growing here in Champlain. This uh, Hudson Headwaters took over for the North Country Medical Center, and they're really making a show over here in Champlain and really being an asset to the community.